Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we don't trust anything with tires. I'm your host, E, and today we're talking about Roadhead. What? I'm sorry? Roadmaster. We're talking about a, a Buick Roadmaster. My bad. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books, so if you have not read all of them, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about From a Buick 8 by Stephen King. In my original video, and my original videos for all the original videos in this series, I kind of shot myself in the foot. Especially when I got to what I call the Trilogy of Trash, which is Dreamcatcher, from a Buick 8 and Cell, I talked more about how I didn't like those books than I did about the theories. What happened because of that was the comment section turned into a discussion about whether or not the book was good, or whether or not the book had meaning, so on and so forth, and that's why I've tried to leave my opinion out of these, because this series is not about which books are good and bad, this series is about how the books tie together. So my apologies for that, even though Everyone was respectful in the comments, and I appreciate that. Moving forward, I want to talk solely about the theories, so I will not be giving my point of view on any of the books from here on out. So how does From a Buick 8 tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's talk about that. In this book, there is a character called Dr. John Maturin. And as we've discussed several times in this series, Maturin is the name of the turtle that vomited up the universe. While it is a, a reach to consider that a connection, there are some other things that I go off of to make that connection work. Stephen King himself has said that the creatures in this book, the creatures that come out of the Buick Roadmaster, are from Midworld. And in the original video, I mentioned how similar the creatures of the edge of the world of Midworld were to the creatures that came out of the Buick in this book. By that I mean all of the creatures, animals, monsters, whatever you want to call them, that the Ka-Tet sees while they are riding t across the edge of Midworld to get to the world from the stand, and of course that's while they are on Blaine the Monorail or Blaine the Pain. Furthermore, to tie this into the Stephen King universe, there's... this car isn't unique. We have the car from Christine, we have the car from Mile 81, we have the trucks from Truck, which interesting enough were caused, at least in the movie Maximum Overdrive, by a meteor, Pennywise, came crashing down, so did the Tommyknocker, so did the Greys and Dreamcatcher. You get where I'm going with this? Also, thanks to Team Manly for bringing that one up. And finally, we have Joe Hill, who has written in Stephen King's universe before, adding Pen Pennywise and Midworld into s several of his books, on top of the Fireman being a complete ode and Easter egg fest for Stephen King's The Stand. If you don't know, Joe Hill is Stephen King's son. We also have Joe Hill's NOS 4A2, or if you're in, uh, if you're across the pond, NOS 4R2. These living cars are a theme throughout the Stephen King universe and his family's universes. And finally, we might have a connection as to why these cars exist in the first place. This comment from Derek Avery is very interesting to me, considering he's correct. The low men in yellow coats drove the same kind of cars now the last bit kind of made me side eye but Sandy Dearborn being Randall Flagg I don't know if I agree with that even though Sandy Dearborn is the character that keeps everyone else from destroying the car so I would love to hear what you guys have to say about about that last part specifically down there in the comments but that's all the time I have for you today if I missed anything if you have any corrections for anything I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, please let me know down there in the please let me know down there in the description. Yeah, the description. You 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 want to say doobly do so bad, don't you? Down there in the comments. But until next time, get your motor running, hit out on the highway, and run a smack dab into a concrete wall because Jesus, that's a horrible accident if you read the book you know what i'm talking about i'll hail the chair